you're probably losing money and then you're gonna keep losing money unless you stop doing these things what is up guys it's Kojo Forest aka GBP Emperor aka Emperor of Blues in today's video I'm gonna tell you how I lost money and kept losing money on the forex market until I mastered these four things if you want to be a consistent trader it goes with following a certain routine right in trading I always tell my mentees that if you really want to be a consistent trader you have to program your mind as if you are an EA right you guys know what an EA is EA is expert advice is basically like a coding system that replicate trading on a systematic basis right so a profitable trader is one that operates like an EA you just have to psychologically tune your mind in repeating simple things over and over again and that is something that's very difficult for the ordinary trader to do in that case it lets us lose a lot of money I have been a victim of that and I can tell you you're also probably facing the same process so if you really want to kill yourself of that then watch this video to the end I'm going to really break down the four main things that I had to genuinely only master before I was able to become a consistently profitable trader and I stopped losing a lot of money on the market so watch this video to the end so I'm going to be showing you guys very simple thing I already told you that I was consistently losing money on the forex market until I mastered these four few things that I'm going to be disclosing to you right so imagine that I'm actually going to be using one currency pair and consistently using the same model in terms of the concept I'm going to be showing you right to repeat how I'm going to consistently be finding entries and making money of this market remember this is gbp jpy and i'm currently on the four hour time frame which has been the ideal time frame that i've been trading on i ran a survey and then most of you were like could you why are you not going to really teach us a strategy video so i'm going to teach you the most simplest strategy video that has for a long time saved me from losing money on the forex market so guys for me one thing that i totally mastered are four concepts that people literally give no attention to on the forex market and that has been like the concept that have existed with us for a long time right you guys know them i'm going to emphasize size them they remain the support the resistance the Fibonacci and the trend line right but the difference with me is how I interpret these things, right? So in the past, I've already explained to you in several of my other videos that you'd get traders literally defining support level as previous level where the market has rejected or bounced so many times. So you have like a market that has rejected several about three times like this. Then traders are saying, okay, this is a previous support level. We're expecting that when market comes back into that level, then it should reverse from this range and then go up. So that is where they are interested in looking out for a buy setup right something like this they are looking literally that when price comes back into this range they want to buy like that right and then the resistance setup is similar to this in that is like the opposite version where traders have seen consistent rejection from their upside in a similar zone right so they see one two usually two or more which is like three and it's okay they start marking it with a zone right they use their a range two to mark it and say this is our previous resistance zone if the market comes back there then we are looking to sell right they may have their own modus which is like infusing it with some trend line or some indicators that tells them that the market is ready to sell but what I did different was interpreting this concept in a different manner and then there's a logic behind what I did right so basically I was questioning myself that being that the market is a psychological space where it tends to you know understand retail logic and then take out a lot of people's stop losses and then you literally like put us on the losing end why is it that we would have to like see a technical analysis where the market has obviously made it clear to so many other people that this is the reaction is going to do and then expect us to fulfill it or expect that it's supposed to like fulfill right and also i'm going to also add on to the fact that what also changed my perspective with that concept is that i interpreted support and resistance from more of a different dimension than the way people also saw it as like a consistently rejecting zone in the market right so with me i saw let's say if this is our resistance zone right this is the first one that they rejected right so my whole concept or my whole idea is that why can't i find trade on the next one why do i have to wait for one two Two, three four and then try to look for trade on the fifth one or even on the fourth one right why can't i just start making trade ideas on the second one the same for the support level i'm like if this is a support level and then do i have to really wait for one two three right like one here two here three before i start making trade decision why am i not able to like instantly make it on the second decision and that was the real reason why i was able to build the idea that any major support level any major or significant resistance level right which is like a previous turning point in the market becomes like a key support level for me right so it's like this any price point which market fails to go any lower right then i regard it as a support level 
and any price point above which the market failed to go any higher than already regarded as a resistance level. So that concept stayed with me for a long time in that once I'm able to mark that level down, then the next time the market comes into that zone, rather than be that retail mind who is waiting for the next three one, the next four one before I buy, I'm already looking for trade entries within this range, right? And then the same with this one. Rather than wait for the retail mindset, who's going to wait for the next three or four consistent push up? The moment the market comes into this range, I'm already looking for some concept or some key confirmation to start selling it back down like this. So that was what made the difference in my concept. So now I've talked about the support, the resistance. Let's look at a practical aspect of it from the GBP JPY setup that I've already established with you here or from the one that I've already displayed with you here. So now if you look at this GBP JPY right now, now guys, look at this. You see this vertical line there? You've been watching my chart for a long time. I've always had them there, right? We have week one, like this is the current week that we are in here right which is this one here this signifies the current week let's note it as week one let's signify this one here as a previous week which was week two and then let's note this one here as week three and then let's call this one week four right let's call this one week four so i'm going to start my analysis from the week four basis right so we have week one here week two week three and then week four right now guys already i've explained to you that with me support is any price point below where the market failed to go any lower and the resistance is any price point above where the market failed to go any higher so in that concept looking at this being like this is the fourth week right if we play this a little bit up front like that right you're going to see that this line appears here signifying exactly where the market began all i got to do now is that establish previous support or resistance in the market previous resistance being this one here and then previous support now being exactly this one that we have here so in that case i've already predefined the range in the market and predefining the range means that at this point i'm either waiting is this market going to come into this zone and then go back up right as my technical analysis would expect or is it going to go up here and then come into this zone right so it's two things that it's going to do either go up here come into this zone or go down here come to zone or either ways break and continue lower or again break and continue higher right so at that point all you need is extra confluence which is like the candlestick knowledge to be able to know what the market is going to do in those zones right so let's see practically what happened and then how your thought process would have led you in finding a trade entry like this right so we move forward a bit we move forward a bit using that replay tool so we move forward right using that replay tool moving forward we're waiting for price reaction at that resistance level right here right so yeah guys we have that price tapping perfectly into that range right and then we've had our first bearish signal which is this tweezer top right here but is it significant for you to take a trade yet i think your discretion would matter with experience you would know if you're supposed to like sell off right of this and then put your stop loss right above the range or you want to hold right for me i'd normally take a, a setup like this or sometimes i wait for the next subsequent confirmation if we have extra bearish confirmation right so let's see what happens so now you can see that with the second one we have an extra confirmation so if you did take that early entry you're going to have your entry around here if you waited for that extra extra confirmation then that puts your entry right around here which kind of allows you to sort of miss out on a few more pips right nonetheless it's not much to have like that confidence back in your trade setup if you're missing out on a few pips right so ideally you have your setup here your stop loss right above the range like that your expectation of profit should come into a range like this or your second setup would be like this where you're waiting nonetheless you're obviously going to risk much more and then your take profit also still back into a range like this right this is one is to 2.3 and this one is one is to 4.7 literally one is to five setup right so whichever one works for you then ideally you'd want to take it so let's see how this one plays out now remember that with all this that i'm doing we are following that resistance concept of the market right so now forward play you can see that it quickly puts us into a huge profit right we're already making money in the market pushes us further down and now back again we're on a support level tp has been hit for this setup right so you can see that just following a simple concept like resistance and then defining in my own unique way i've been able to like achieve massive amount of progress on this right now if the market hits a support level like this i'm looking at two things right 
is this market going to continue further down and i'm looking at already which other support level would have in the market is it this one here right because obviously if this market bridges that range there the next support level that's likely to hold it is this right the same for this one here if i took that entry there anyway or if it doesn't happen that way then are we going to see certain reactions within this range which is this bottom right here that is going to convince us that this market is going to go back up like that right and that if that is what we are expecting then we have to also now put a guard on start to look into the reactions in terms of candles and confirmations in that zone and determine if indeed we are going to find a beautiful entry there as well right so now we have to be patient and wait for the candlestick reactions in all those zones to determine if indeed we're going to have an entry there right so we have one there which does not convince me we have two there like that remember that we've already tabbed in the zones and then we are printing reversal patterns right but we want to see that reversal pattern that kind of convinces that right then we have three here like this right so at this point we've seen several reactions in the same zone all having hammer doji and hammer right so you want to take your entry around here remember that this is on the four hour confirmation so by this time you, you may have already spent 12 hours in the same zone right if you're talking about adding this one then that makes it 16 hours imagine the market staying or stalling in one place for 16 good hours that's a good confirmation that is about to take off right if you're taking this entry here too then you're trying to put your take profit in the next previous high like that it doesn't matter that the market has been to this previous high before all that matters is that you're using structures to trade it and then you're using support resistance back with confident candlestick confirmation to trade it as well my initial interest will be seeing this market come back into this zone nonetheless i'll also be watching into the left side of the market to see if this market doesn't hold in that interesting zone is it going to use another level to perhaps be that bridge right you can see that we have this major resistance also sticking out out here right so it's like i have my in my perspective this market to stand out into this zone or break out of this one and approach this major level here as well right so now that i've already signified that this would have been my entry range let's see how this market plays out there as well right so we can see how the market just consolidates and start climbing and then hits that level literally does not stop here right so initially i would have expected to see certain reaction here initially i'd have expected to see certain reaction here which is when the market reaches that zone i want to see how it holds off here right holding off there means i don't want to see any subsequent candle close above that range if there's a candle that closes above that ring then it invalidates me looking out for a short setup here that means that i'm expecting the market to go further higher right and that will be convincing with this bullish candle that pushes the market further up now you can see that at that point it has just tapped into our next favorite zone which is this one right here at this next favorite zone we're also watching that are we going to have that bearish reaction here or are we going to have a candle that is just going to blast through and then convince us that we are going any further higher right so at this point you have to just be patient wait for the market to do its own thing with this candle we are not quite convinced because it's like half of the body running through but with the next one like this then we can see that wow this market is running all the way up and then it's not trying to stop anytime soon so what you have to do is that zoom out again and look for the next resistance after that one there right and then we can see that the next resistance that takes itself or shows itself up after that that range that i've denoted is this one very one right here it doesn't matter how far it is away from the market you just have to be confident that as a sniper already when you have marked out your zone the market is likely to come there you want to be extremely patient wait for the market to come into that zone before you take any trade setup so look at this at this point we're still going to be monitoring and seeing what we're going to do right so we have the market still consolidating the old week has ended and new week has literally just resumed with this line showing up there so now we are trying to watch what is the market going to do in that resistance zone is it also going to keep continuing further up like that which is like closing above this range and going further up or is it going to react there and give us opportunity for a sell right so reacting there giving us an opportunity for a sell will be our ideal setup right so let's look at what happened here you have the market tapping there and a candle pushing down now this is something that confuses a lot of beginners when they see something like this even some of my pro traders get confused at this level right even some of my professional traders that i've trained get confused when they see a confirmation like this they're like could you this look beautifully like an evening star formation why can't we take this setup and i explain to them that if you count the subsequent succession of bullish candles then sometimes logically it does not make sense to think that one bearish candle is going to be enough to literally reverse the whole thing and that does not really count as part of our edge sometimes you may have the market literally put from a bullish succession like this and suddenly have a bearish reversal but it hardly happens that way right for the most part you're going to have scenario looking like this 
right in a very cyclical converging downward drop than having like that abrupt movement of the market dropping like that so the difference here is you watching what happens at the very top of the range and then it tells you which setup kind of really works best for me and then this one is the one that ideally works best for us you can see here that the market was what continuously reversing you can see the same here continuously reversing right and there you can see that here was that abrupt reversal type which hardly gives us any opportunity to buy but here you can also see that same continuous reversing so it is something that you train your mind's eye for for a long time and then eventually you master it as well right so now that tells you that i'm not going to be interested in a setup like this but let's look at what happens again right we have the market pushing back up giving a second opportunity at a better price entry now all i'm doing is i'm waiting for that bearish confirmation to give me that entry right so you have the market spiking up literally taking out anybody who's had their stop loss still around that range and then subsequently we have this bearish candle that gives us exactly what we are looking for so at this point you can see that the drawing that has been printed is what that converging round range like that and then we have a very beautiful entry confirmation as well which is what a tweezer top so right off the tweezer top would be where we'd be interested in taking a trade entry we'll have our entry around here we'll have a stop loss right above the range so you can mark it with uh risk to reward too right and then what we would be interested in looking at is looking for a setup that drops all the way back into this previous resistance range that was already established right so now our ideal interest in was is watching the market come so you can see that all through week one week two week three all i'm doing is just following just a simple concept of resistance and support to find continuous trade and then at that point what is expected of you as a trader is to maintain discipline and learn and master just those four things and you'll be so good at the market right so now we want to take a trade there we want to see how this unfolds right look at this quick drop push back into a range like that at this point knowing that we're already in a bullish confirmation or knowing that we are already in a bullish trend then i expect that you should also make due use of the next confluence the next confluence being our fibonacci tool right so if you don't know how to use the fibonacci then i'm going to show you so now fibonacci is like a tool that helps us to understand what continuations in the market right i've already explained fibonacci in a previous video if you really want to have a thorough in-depth understanding of it you might as well just scroll through my other videos and watch the lesson on fibonacci as well but in in a simple term if the market makes a long stride of movement like this what it does is it retraces a bit after retracement it finds a range which could be any of my key fibonacci ranges the 50 61.8 or 78 percent retracement from that previous initial swing and then it now retraces and then continues further in its direction right so at this point with having like that huge long stride of movement like this we we want to see a pattern like this form and those patterns will be guided the most by plotting our fit from the lows to the previous high and then marking our range right so we can mark anywhere between the 50 61.8 because at that point that's where the market is initially coming into right so let's see what happens here we have the market trading down and then now tapping into the 50 percent region right are we going to have any kind of confirmation convincing us here not yet and then blast quickly through the 61.8 so at this point we're also watching that are we going to have that bullish reversal pattern to convince us that this market is about to continue right so all you're doing is just monitoring that zone monitoring that zone watching candle confirmations and then we can see that what we had that candle confirmation here again it emphasizes that we've seen one two three four five right five four 20 hours of the market spending in this range on the 50 and 61.8 region right so you can also use that as a confluence in finding a trade entry being that you're just going to put your entry here and the stop loss right below the range or right below the candle you anticipated the market to go further higher like that right so let's see how this also ages you can see what it still goes back like that so this is a simple thing that i'm trying to really establish to you that what by mastering a few concepts right now we've been able to deal with support we've been able to deal with resistance we've been able to also deal with fibonacci these are a few concepts that if you master right only thing that i left out today is a trend line concept but since i mastered just these four things it have literally let me stop losing money on the market and i've evolved into a consistently winning trader and i believe that you can also do that if you really love this video it was very educative and then more informative you want to smash the like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already click in the link in the description to join the coach of Fries telegram community it has 70,000 members we literally just hit 70,000 connect with me on all social media at kogofrex especially on instagram and twitter and click in the link also in the description to join xnet my number one recommended broker they are the brokers i've been using now i'm sure you're going to love them if you want to trade like me as well without wasting my time i hope you guys really did enjoy this content i'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!